The crown of thorns or Euphorbia mili is a stunning succulent plant that is native to Madagascar. It is known for its thick thorny stems and vibrant long-lasting flowers. To propagate Euphorbia plants cut the newer shoots, you can recognize new shoots from their bright green color. Use sharp skatier or a scissor to make a clean cut. Take at least 6 to 8 inch long cuttings. The best time for cutting propagation is in spring and summer when the plant is actively growing. Sap of Euphorbia plant causes skin and eye irritation. Avoid touching it with your bare hands. The next step is very important. Now keep the cuttings in a cool, dry place for 2-3 to three days to allow the cut end to callus. This promotes cells that can turn into roots and helps prevent rot when you insert the cutting into the soil. Take a medium pot, 7-8 to eight inch wide and deep with proper drainage holes at the bottom. Euphobia plants need well draining soil so air can circulate around the roots. For that, use a mix of 50% garden soil, 30% cattle manure and 20% river sand or perlite. With the help of a stick, make 2-3 to three inch deep holes in the soil mix and carefully plant the stem cutting into the soil. Ensure that bottom 2-3 to three inch part of the stem is buried in the soil mix. Gently fill the remaining space around the cutting with the soil mix. Press it down lightly to secure the cutting in place. Plant all cuttings in the same manner. Propagation of crown of thorns is a rewarding and relatively simple process. This popular succulent can be propagated through stem cuttings or seeds, with the stem cuttings being the most common and effective method. When propagating through stem cuttings, it is important to select healthy stems from the parent plant. After planting, lightly water the cuttings. It is important to water the cuttings sparingly to avoid overwatering, which can lead to rotting. Look for a location that receives bright light but is out of direct sunlight. Place the pot in this location and let it root for 3 to 4 weeks. Over time, you will begin to see signs of successful propagation. New growth and buds will emerge from the stem cutting, indicating that it has successfully established itself. From now onwards, place the pot in a spot that gets 4 to 6 hours of direct sunlight. Even if this isn't possible in your case, aim to give the plants as much sunlight as possible. At this stage, you can fertilize your plants with the water soluble fertilizer like NPK. Mix 1 tablespoon in 1 liter water and add 30 to 50 ml per plant. Repeat this after every 18 to 25 days for heavy flowering and healthy growth. After 20 days, buds will begin to burst open, stems and branches elongate and new roots are formed. At this phase of time, cuttings will produce stunning blooms with colorful bracts that last for weeks adding a pop of color to their unique forms. The plant flowers most reliably when soil mixture is kept on the dry side. To have good flowering, proper light is the most important factor. Your euphobia needs all the sun it can get to have the energy to flower. The more bright, direct sunlight it gets, the longer the flowering period will be. Without enough light, you will not get flowers. At this stage, you can plant it in a larger pot or plant it outdoors in moderate climate. The process of repotting begins by gently removing the plant from its sole container. Take care not to damage the delicate roots while doing so.
Select a pod that looks to be appropriately sized for your plant. Most importantly, choose a pod with lots of holes in the bottom so that it drains quickly. Place a 1 to 2 inch layer of gravel or broken terracotta in the bottom of the pot to prevent the drainage holes from getting clogged up with the soil. Fill the remainder of the pot with cactus soil mix or make your own mix by adding 50% garden soil, 30% cattle manure and 20% river sand. Create a hole in the soil mix, place the plant's root ball into the hole and cover the root ball completely with the soil mixture. Crown of Thorns prefers well draining soil that mimics its natural habitat. A mix of sand and a good quality potting mix works best for this plant. After repotting, it is essential to water the plant lightly to settle the soil. Repot the plant at least every 3 years, do it earlier if the plant simply appears to be too big for the pot. Always deadhead old flower blooms to encourage new growth and flowering.